New at five, this is video of a popular restaurant in Townsend engulfed in flames last night. Well, tonight authorities are saying Walker's Catfish Cabin and Barbecue is a total loss. 10 News reporter Fernando Garcia Franceschini shares what neighbors in the area had to say and how fire crews responded. Fernando. Well, Robin, people I spoke to say Walker's Catfish Cabin and Barbecue was a staple in Townsend. It's a small, tight-knit community on the quiet side of the Smokies where many people have a close relationship with the restaurant's owners. What was supposed to be a night of celebration for the Townsend community ended with one of its most iconic restaurants burning down. It's unfortunate. Stu Tiefteller spent part of his morning checking out the aftermath of the fire. Even though he's from the area, he had never eaten at Walker's Catfish. Now, he says he won't get the chance. I actually came down, I'm gonna say Friday, and it was so busy, I, you know, I just went on. I went on to Maribel. It's a shame uh, to lose it. Townsend's fire chief says the building is a total loss. He says the fire department was getting ready for the city's 4th of July festivities when they got the call. And tackling the fire, he says, was quite the challenge. Since we did have the event, most of our personnel had been all day in the sun setting up for the event, grilling out hot dogs for folks as they came in. So they were already pretty spent by the time we got on the fire. Uh, then working the fire, uh, like I said, a lot of heat from the fire. We actually had two personnel go down, had to be transported to Blunt Memorial Hospital. Four additional firefighters were treated for heat exhaustion on scene. Chief Stallions says, though, they've all recovered. He says the focus is now in helping Walker Catfish's owners and the city of Townsend to move forward. Anytime we lose a restaurant, I mean, it's hard. We know the people in the small town, you know the people that own it. Don't know what exactly caused the fire. A spokesperson with the Blunt County Sheriff's Office says they are out on the scene this afternoon investigating. Robin. All right, Fernando, thank you very much.